it's Alice again, and it's time for another dish of Unboxing Alice, the YouTube channel with the purple fox to unbox this thing. I'm, of course, Alice Frost, and as promised in the last video, we are going to do part two of, I guess, Porifol's Avatar enamel pin collection, <laughs> I guess. That's its unofficial right name right now. <laughs> last time I showed you Avatar pins, but they were all basically tea themes. This time, these are all about the characters. So, for Avatar fans, you're gonna recognize, hopefully, recognize all of these characters. And for those who have not seen the show yet, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about said character. <laughs> so, let's get right into it. I did explain what Avatar was last time. If you don't know that, I mean, you can watch my last video or, you know, Google or Wikipedia. <laughs> so, you just, many ways to figure out what Avatar is. So, I, I don't need to repeat that, but. We're gonna get right into these pins. These will all just be, they'll be stickers. They'll be probably in a sticker pack, like the last one, if that is the case. I'm not showing you those stickers because I'm not opening that pack. They'll go everywhere. It'll be horrifying, I'll die, you'll cry, everyone will be sad, we're not doing that. But if they happen to be loose, then I don't mind showing you those. How do I open this? Okay, okay, right. Oh, thank God. It's significantly easier than the last one. And the last one, I had to take a knife to it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we do have a sticker right off the bat. So it, it's just kind of sitting there and it's huge. So I guess before we get into the pins, I'll show you the sticker. If I can pick it up. I explained who Appa was in the last video, the mount of the main character Aang. But here is a lovely sticker of Appa. I don't think he actually comes with a pin. So I, I'm glad they put this separately so I can show you this. Because I don't think there's an Appa pin with this group. There's Appa, the flying bison, flying sky bison, sorry, not just a regular bison. I would love to see a regular bison fly, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Tweak this a bit, there we go. Just screw in my ear and it hurts. <laughs> there we go. Now we have, now we have paper, purple paper, get away. Go away. Yeah, yeah, you take that. Okay. I do have powerful information that will be last, provided it doesn't fall on the floor again like it did in the last video. Gather, stay over there. You, stay, stay. Okay. I'm gonna start grabbing pins. The first character is Yue. She is the princess of the Northern Water Tribe. She has very pretty hair. I love, I love, I love her outfit. I'm gonna say I really like the Water Tribe outfits as well. I think that's part of what endeared me to them. Other than water is cool to manipulate and hit people with. But I really loved their outfits. They were specifically built for the cold. They were, they seemed, the whole show is, it takes a lot of inspiration from a variety of different Asian cultures. But the, and I don't know every Asian culture, this might be partially inspired by, oh shoot, what are they called? There is a very specific tribe in Japan that lives almost like, they're very similar to the Inuit of the, the indigenous Inuit people here in the States and here in Canada. But their clothing reminds me of that. I really like their clothing. I would love to make a robe like that just to walk around my house in, just to like cuddle in in, in the wintertime, it'd be great. But going back to Yue, <laughs> she is again, a becomes a pretty big part of the story at one point. And I, she's a very sweet character. Actually, I can't say, I won't say anything else because plot, but you know, here's Yue, there we go. That's all I'm gonna say. I have to be careful what I say for those of you who have not seen, seen the show. I don't wanna give away major plot points. I, hopefully I'm just gonna show you characters and give you like a tidbit or two about them and hopefully won't give away too much plot. But there's, no, this next character is gonna be hard. This next character is called Toph. She is female. She is stuck in my paws. There we go. She is an earthbender. Very, very popular character. Not one of my favorite characters, but pretty popular with most people. But this is Toph, also like, also like her outfit. I'm not a fan of green as I've said in other videos, and unfortunately that's kind of the Earth Nation's MO, but she still has a really cute outfit. And again, very much an earthbender. So there is Toph. After Toph, we have a box that keeps closing itself. What do you think I can use to... I'm gonna put the ones I've already opened in there. Hopefully that'll keep the box open. It's not gonna work, but I'm gonna try. After this, we have... We have Aang! We have 
Aang, the main character for, and the last Avatar in Avatar The Last Airbender. The, well, he is the last Avatar and he is, I'm sorry, he is the Avatar and the, he is literally the last Airbender. He is both. They are two different things. So when they get in his case, they're, 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 they're just, anyway, moving on. <laughs> but this is Aang, the main character, sitting here. He has the arrow on his head denotes the fact that he is an airbender. It comes from the temple he grew up in. I showed you the air. I think I showed you a pin and one of the banners or pennants that I had bought had the air temple on it. So you should know what that is. Or know what that looks like. If you don't, go look at my last video. But this is him also holding his little glider. And he's winking at you. Hang is adorable. I think he's like 12 or 13 or something like that in the show when we first meet him. So there's that's a di another difference between Avatar and Legend of Korra, which is the sequel. Avatar was geared towards a younger audience. It has younger characters. So in their, I guess, preteens, like 12 to 14 ish, somewhere around there, I think. I was Alan Cully being the youngest, though I'm not sure how old Toph was. In Korra, it was definitely geared toward like a teenage audience. There were much like early 20s characters. So a lot of the main characters you see are going to be younger. Like UA is also probably like maybe 13, 14, somewhere around there. If I'm wrong, go ahead and yell at me in the comments, but these are definitely teenagers. These are nowhere close to adults. Okay, the stickers keep getting in my way, so I'm gonna put those back there. Wait, you're on the sticker, come here. Bad. We have next the Painted Lady, which was a very, very important character for an episode. I can't tell you more than that because that will give away a lot of the plot of said episode. But this is the Painted Lady. Uh, oh yeah, putting them back there so hopefully they keep that thing down. This next one is Person in Mask. I cannot remember what this masked bandit person was called, but Person in Mask. I know who they are. <laughs> I just I can't tell you that because plot. But masked person <laughs> is what I'm going to call this one right now. Sorry about that. It's not very descriptive, but this, this is plot. So I, I don't want to go too far into that one. Uh, before I introduce this character, I want to, okay, there, thank God he's here because I do want to, I, I want to introduce these two in a specific order. This next character is called, whoopsie. Oops, shoot. Ah, my God, my paws. So... For whatever reason, this character's mind, or this character's name is blank. <laughs> I'm blanking on this character's name. Zuko, oh God. Why did I remember, why did I forget his name? <laughs> this is Zuko, the, I think he's a first, yeah, firstborn, I think, of the Fire Nation. He is, was a villain in the first season, you're gonna see him very much as a villain, chasing after Aang. But this is Zuko, there is, the thing with Avatar, there's a lot of characters really grow and change. I will say that. And Zuko is very much the bad guy in season one. And but you there's a lot of backstory there. There's a, a very real reason why he is the way he is. And you will get to see him change and change might not always be good. Sometimes change is good. Sometimes change is not. But you will see him change as a person. I won't tell you which direction or if he goes back and forth because change doesn't always go in one direction. But this is Crown Prince Zuko of the Fire Nation. And he looks very peaceful there. Well, actually, he still looks really pissed off. I, I give up on you, Zuko. <laughs> this is character I wanted to introduce after Zuko because it would make more sense. This character's name is Iroh or Uncle Iroh. That's, uncle's not literally his name. He is Zuko's uncle. <laughs> he was a commander. Or I, I don't know military terms, so feel free to yell at me. But he was in the Fire Nation Army military. I, I can't remember what his rank was. But he served as basically... He was basically a mentor to Zuko, whether Zuko realized it or not. He was trying to be a very good influence on the boy. He was very, very supportive and very, um, he, he loved his nephew very much. And Iroh is another fan favorite. He is, I, by, you can look at him, he is not young. He is not a teenager. <laughs> He's very much an older man, 
but he was still loved nonetheless by a lot of the fandom. So that is Uncle Iroh. I'm just gonna call him that even though he's not my uncle. After Uncle Iroh we have, okay. So we have Sokka, wait, Sokka, sorry. What have you done to me? Um, and I shall on. Anyway, <laughs> this is Sokka. He is one of the main characters and he's from the Southern Water Tribe. He is actually a non-bender. He cannot bend anything, but he can, he was still very much useful. He still has a lot to contribute in the show, even though he can't bend water. But this is him. He is pretty good with a boomerang. And I think he's also holding like a sword or something. But yeah, he also served as comic relief. He was very much the goofy character of the group. All the characters had their goofy moments, but Sokka, that, that was his MO. <laughs> that was basically what he did. Very jovial character. I hear he was nothing close to that in the M. Night Shyamalan version. I did forget to mention that Avatar spawned the sequel Legend of Korra. It also spawned an apparently god-awful sequel, or I'm sorry, god-awful live-action movie by M. Night Shyamalan. I have not seen it. I heard it's absolutely abysmal. No one is suggested, no one recommends it to me. <laughs> so if you've seen it, you can put that in the comments too and tell me what you thought about it because I have not seen that live action movie. But yes, I heard it was an abomination. <laughs> they changed a lot of different things. And one thing I hear they changed was Sokka. They also changed some of these names too. I won't go into that. But with Sokka, again, he's supposed to be super, you know, goofy and the comic relief. In the movie, apparently he was just stoic the entire time. So. I, that, that sounds like a horrifying prospect. I'm, I'm going to continue to avoid that movie. After Sokka, we have two pins that really, really want to be together. Dang it. And a lot of grass. Like the, the grass you put in like Easter baskets. Uh, let's see. Oh, shoot. This character whose name I don't remember. Darn it. Okay, well, I can't remember this character's name, unfortunately. I do like this character for whatever reason, blanking on her name, but she was a member of a group called the Kyoshi Warriors, so that should tell you who she is. If when you, I'm sure you know her name, yell at me in the comments. For whatever reason, blanking on her name. But really cool, uh, stronger female character. I really liked her as well. And she did quite a bit for the group as well. The group being the, the group, the group is the the ones who accompany Aang. So Aang, there is Sokka, Toph, Appa, the fly sky, the sky bison, and then one other character you'll meet who I haven't shown you yet because she's apparently in the bottom of this. Oh, there she is. Just grab her right now because we're talking about that. No, no, she's being attacked by grass. There we go. Is my favorite character Katara. So. I love Katara so much, she kind of served as, she was kind of the motherly figure, even though, again, she is also a teenager, but she kind of had to step up in the Southern Water Tribe, especially when it came to, like, the younger, like, like actual kids, so she and her brother kind of had to grow up quicker than they would have liked, but she is that motherly figure, she is the grounded one of the group, very much. She is a bender. She can bend water. It's not a major plot point. You find that out literally in episode one. She can bend water. So I'm not really giving anything away. But I, I just liked her again. I, I love the water tribes a lot, except for the fact that they live in freaking ice. <laughs> Don't like the fact they're living in basically the equivalent of Antarctica. Not for me. But I, I really liked her personality. It did remind me of myself. I liked the fact that she could bend water. I also loved her outfit. I want to make, I will make this outfit, darn it. I will. <laughs> One day when I have time, I will make this outfit just to prance around in. I also like her hair. I like her, her hair just looked really, really cute. And she had these little cute loops on each side of her head. Which her brother called them hair loopies. But <laughs> she is the sister, I believe, younger sister of Sokka, who I already showed you. Oh, they go in the back there. I think I have two more. Oh, come on. Oh, this is going to be hard. There we go. I'm fighting grass and it sucks. God bless. All right, so second to last, there are about 12 pins in this one, so slightly bigger than the other one. We've got Azula. Azula is, I believe, the younger sister of Zuko, also of the Fire Nation, so crown princess. 
she doesn't do much in the first season. She's extremely important after that. I'll just say that. Again, a lot going on with this character. There's a lot going on with all of these characters for the most part. Some are in it more than others, but especially for the main four, there's a lot of backstory there. There's a lot of reasons why they are the way they are uh, when you first meet them. And a lot of them do grow and change in a variety of directions. Some may get better, some may get worse, some do both. So I will just say that, but uh, yeah, Zula is a very important character starting around season two-ish, so. And finally, I'm glad he's last. <laughs> This is a wonky character. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah. Okay, now I have too many pins back there, and now the front's flipping up. This last guy is actually not a main character. He is a running gag. Whenever something goes on in the street and there's destruction in, like, in the middle of a town, this guy is there. This is his cabbage guy. I don't know if he has an actual name. But whenever something goes on in the streets, inevitably his cart, his cabbage cart gets knocked over and he'll say, my cabbages. Anyone who's seen Avatar knows this character and they're probably laughing their butts off because that's, that was the point of this character to be in the background, to be a running joke. And I absolutely loved it. I love this character. I'm really glad Poroful made a pin just for him. <laughs> Cause again, he's not a main character. He's not a supporting character. He's a background character. Like, you know My Little Pony, he's like Derpy or, or DJ or Lyra or Bon Bon he, or Dr. Who. He's, he's not, he's, I, the, my cabbages, I think is pretty much all he says whenever you see him. But he is so funny. It, I, it's great to have him in there. He's just, he, he's a funny gag that, that, that really doesn't get old. Uh, and I, I'm really glad there's a pin of him. So that, that is the last pin. Now I'm going to try and get these over. There we go. Put them back in the box. So that's it. That is part two of Korifal's Avatar The Last Airbender pin set. I, oh, I'm going to put Apple back before I lose him. There we go. The sticker. Uh, I did, t I showed you guys, or I let you guys know that. The other stickers, there is a sticker, one for every pin. They look exactly like the pins I showed you. They're in that tight plastic. I'm not gonna unbox those because it's a pain in the butt. I did show you Appa because A, Appa was out of that pack and B, there is no pin of Appa for whatever reason. So I'm glad I was able to show you that. Uh, let me know what your favorites were. Regarding pins, I mean, these are all based on characters. So basically for me, it's what are my favorite characters. I already said Katara. Uh, I do like Aang. Uh, I really did like Princess U Yue. I can't, I can't word. Love Cabbage Guy. So much. All cabbage all the time. So those are my favorites. Please let me know what your favorites were, uh, be it these pins or in the show. It, it, you can do that with this, this video or my last video, whatever you want to say. If you did see that god awful M. Night Shyamalan version of The Last Airbender, they couldn't use Avatar because Avatar exists, the, the one with the blue cat people. So that's why they didn't use, that's why it wasn't called Avatar The Last Ember, Airbender, it's just The Last Airbender. But if you did see The Last Airbender, please let me know what you thought. I have not heard anything good about that movie, to be perfectly honest. And I've seen, you know, CinemaSins, I've seen Pitch Meeting, both, you know, cover those movies. I don't see much to like, but if there's something you like, let me know. But that is about it. I'm sorry, I did forget about for information. Again, this is horrible information. It's going to be the same hard as the one in the other video so and unfortunately i didn't get to show you that on air because i it fell on the floor but this is basically the same thing it says portable on one side and on the opposite side we have oh uh, just their actually just her website and her gmail so their information and i will dig up that other like postcard size thingy that was in the other shipment i'll rehash the same information in the description so you can find the the site or find their page and everything else but that's pretty much it that is avatar part two at this point as you watch this i am in nigeria <laughs> so <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed the video you know what to do if you like what i do please like subscribe hit the bell for notifications i think i have 108 followers or um, subscribers at this point so thank you guys very much that's 
not a milestone technically the hundred was the milestone but i still appreciate every single subscriber i get even if you don't subscribe and you just watch my videos i really appreciate that too you don't i'm not gonna i can't i'm gonna hold a gun to your head and make you subscribe to me so i do appreciate what you guys do i i i wouldn't have this channel really without you guys uh, well maybe i would i don't know but <laughs> i probably still do this because i have a kickstarter addiction but it's always nice to know that other people appreciate what you do so thank you so much again guys i will just say greetings from nigeria even though i'm obviously not recording this in nigeria <laughs> but i nigeria is going to be till the beginning of march and i will be attending gateway fermi unless they close it um, unless they shut it down for COVID. I will be there, so and I will have Alice there. So if you happen to be at Gateway Fermi, which is in the St. Louis area, uh, Missouri, then please say hi to me. Please tell me you, you know, watch my videos or just tell me you freaking heard of me. I don't really care. <laughs> just say hi. But because of that, that's the second weekend of March. March is going to be ugly. So I may do one video. I might not do any. I am leaning towards just not doing anything for March. Uh, I'll have to see if I do. It actually won't be Sir Stone Pins. I'm going to break that streak. I will probably do something probably D&D related if I do a video, but do not be surprised if you don't see one in this, like the second, the last weekend of March, like the second half of March. Um, but that's all I've really got. So until next time, guys, please stay safe. Please be healthy. And I guess I will see you whenever the next video is, either at the end of March or the first half of April. So you know until then all the way from nigeria bye bye but not really because i'm still here in the state